Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Oh, if you have been watching my channel for many years, I guess you would know it's about this time of year that, uh, well, first off, it's around this time of month when I get my best and worst of beauty to you all, but at the new year, we go over it all. We go over all of the best hits from this past year, the best and worst of beauty. I take the best product, the top product on my pyramid from each month in the past year, so 2021 is this video anyways, and uh, then I put them into a new pyramid and I re-rate them. And it's one of the hardest things I have to do here on my channel because these are my beloveds. These are the things that I was cherishing and loving the most this past year. And it was especially hard because, I mean, 2021 was just awful for me. I don't know. I think a lot of people didn't like 2021, but it, it was especially not good for me as well. I don't know that I could say it's the worst year of my life, but certainly wouldn't be included in the highlight reels, if you get what I'm saying. Especially in the beauty realm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I actually have some holy grail, like, top top-notch products here, but uh, I didn't do for like the first time in my 10 years here on YouTube. I didn't do a best and worst of beauty every single month. I actually missed a couple of months, so I had to add one extra product here into the pyramid, and it was from my last month. December where I don't do a best and worst of beauty because that's when I do my roundup here. Do we see? Do we get it? We see the continuity. So just so you know, you'll be seeing a little something new here, but it really was something I was not only very much enjoying last month, but really throughout the year. So I was able to put my products into a pyramid again. It was very hard, like I said, and so to ease some of that hurt, but also to celebrate the new year, cheers! Clink. Let's thank the sponsor of today's video before we get on into the beauty pyramid, shall we? Bright Sellers! Yay! A return sponsor. We love to see it. If you haven't heard of Bright Sellers before, they are a personalized wine subscription service based on a personalized quiz that you take online telling them the kinds of stuff that you enjoy, the tastes that suit your palate the most, you know, like what your favorite chocolate is. They're gonna use that to help pick out some wines for you. You can tell them, like I said, it's customizable so if you do not like red wine, they will not send you red wine if you tell them that. You can tell them you want only white or only red or you want a mix of both. You want to be surprised when you get your Bright Sellers box? I get it. That's what I did this time. I said, you know what? Just surprise me. Send me what you think I'll like. They'll match you to wines from all over the world that, like I said, is curated to your palate. They focus on finding unique hidden gems from small vineyards all over the world and hundreds of private label wines so you'll be able to try a new wine that you have never tasted before. You don't have to waste your time venturing out to the grocery store or the liquor store to try and find a wine. That's always my problem with wine. I never know what I'm looking for. I just know that I like white wine the best, but when it comes to brands and that sort of a thing, I just go based off of, oh, that's a pretty bottle. You know, it's really not the best way to pick out a wine for you. <laughs> so I just love knowing that these are customized to my tastes. And then also it's just nice to have wine on hand so that if I am going to a gathering of some sort, like you know, the holidays just passed. It's nice to just have a bottle or two that you can bring with you to whatever gathering you're going to and not have to worry about going to the liquor store first. Plus they come with these really neat little cards to go with each bottle of your wine that will educate you on said bottle of wine. Today I am trying out this Hazelair Sauvignon Blanc. It's fruit forward, which is my personal preference, and it has notes of citrus, like pink grapefruit, lemon zest, and lime. Tell you what the wine pairs well with and also where the wine came from. So that's always really fun. So a Bright Cellar sounds like something up your alley that you might want to try and or you just want to help support my channel here. Sponsors are really what makes it possible for me to keep running my channel and make the videos that I love for you all. So by going and supporting a sponsor of my videos, you are also directly supporting my channel. And to make the deal even sweeter, Bright Cellars is giving my followers a 50% off. Yes, that's a 5-0, half off of your first six bottle box. That's six bottles for just $53, which is just a crazy value. So I would really appreciate it if you would please support my channel here, especially going into the new year of 2022. Just have to go down below, click the link, take your quiz, and get started. So like I said, cheers. 
Let's talk best of, best and worst of beauty. Mmm, that's delicious. Really light, nice and crisp. I like it. Although, like I said, no surprise. It's going based off of my taste quiz, so like, I've never tried a wine from Bright Cellars that I didn't really enjoy. Anywho, let's sing the song together and then we can get on into the products. It's the best and best of beauty. <laughs> I mean, it was all really good. Here's the down and dirty. Uh, have I never figured out, a, have I always struggled? I forget, this is a once a year thing, but uh, wow, that was, that was rough. So, first thing, bottom of this best of pyramid, like I said, please take these positionings with a grain of salt. These were all top of the pyramid products this past year. I love all of these products, and especially this one, technically, it wasn't even on any of my pyramids, but uh, the reason that it's going at the very bottom of this pyramid is purely because I have since found something that I think is better. So for July, slash August that pyramid at the top I had put the Winky Lux Muru Muru Butter Lip Sleeping Mask and don't get me wrong it was very nice it smelled really nice it was a very very light light vanilla scent very muted I really liked it it worked very well as a lip sleeping mask and I thought that that was going to be my replacement for the original Bite Agave Lip Sleeping Mask before they turned it vegan and they took out the lanolin. Uh, and then um, this came into my life. So like I said, the reason that this is at the bottom it's not this product in particular. If this had been at the top of one of my pyramids, it would have been way up there on this pyramid wrap up. This is the Sweet Chef Sugarcane and Vitamin E Lip Sleeping Mask. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a scent to it and I think that is what makes it taste really bad, but like just don't get this in your mouth, which like sounds easier than, I mean, cause it's on your lips. You might get some in your mouth. I have before. It's not gonna make you puke or anything, but like I just would prefer if it didn't taste the way that it tasted and I would prefer if it had like a sweet vanilla scent to it, like that Winky Lux one. But uh, yeah, that's the only reason why I'm putting the Winky Lux at the bottom of this pyramid is because like I said, I probably will never buy that one again, purely because this this exists and it's pretty much everything I wanted almost an exact dupe for the bite minus the smell and taste so whew, I have no idea if any of that just made sense there but uh I tried <laughs> now next up on the bottom of the pyramid you guys this is so hard I hate this I, I hate this video <laughs> I mean I understand its importance but like it's really hard to say that this is at the second to last place on this pyramid. It's giving me all the anxious itchies, but um, I've got this highlighter from Laura Mercier. This was in my March Best and Worst of Beauty. I believe I had gotten this in a boxy charm that would make sense. And you guys, I love this highlight. It is beautiful. Like it's so, so pretty. If you like a natural highlight, this is not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am on your face from outer space, kind of a looking highlight. It's not, but I personally don't care. I like a more natural looking highlight personally. And, uh, this is that. So like in the summer for me, when I'm already a sweaty mess, I don't particularly need a super crazy, shiny, sparkly highlight. It's usually not what I'm going for. So like in which case this is perfect because it just adds that glow from within beautiful delight. I mean, it would look beautiful on the skin any time of year. Don't get me wrong. I just, I feel like I have to put these situational products at the bottom of the pyramid because like I have so many highlights that I love and I adore and this is one of them but like it's not the be all end all but it is really beautiful and darn it <laughs> I love that highlight I really do but that's just that's the, that's where it is on the pyramid forgive me <laughs> 
Now next up on the bottom of the pyramid, same situation, same kind of deal as that last product in that it's situational. I have so many highlights and blushes that I love and I adore and these are no exception. These were at the top of my October pyramid here, They're both from ColourPop. One is the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Seismic Highlighter and the other is the Petal Pusher Pressed Powder blush. It is this gorgeous like neon lilac shade. It just invigorates the cheeks in such a beautiful kind of punchy bubble gummy lilac kind of a way. It's gorgeous on the cheeks and this highlight. Now this is the kind of highlight you wear if you love the wham bam thank you ma'am on your face from outer space kind of a highlight. This is sparkles galore but it's really pretty and fun and I like it. It's it's just, like I said, I, I have to put these at the bottom. I'm like gonna get a rash at putting these products on the bottom of a pyramid. I adore this combo. Like if I had to get rid of all of my blushes, except for a handful, this is one of the blushes I would keep and cherish and love because the shade is just so gorgeous and would be so universally gorgeous on so many different skin colors and tones and the highlight as well. I mean, just beautiful and gorgeous and lovely. I hate that they are on the bottom of my pyramid, but you know what? I this That's what this video entails. I did what I had to do and I'm so sorry about it. <laughs> Now, last thing on the bottom of the pyramid here, we're going back to February of last year. Craziness, huh? I didn't even remember having these on the top of my pyramid, so when I was going back to see which products I was gonna have to duel against each other here, I was actually like surprised to see it, but not surprised at all, because like I said, I mean, this is a holy grail product for me right here. I actually only have one out of the two products that were at the top of my February pyramid, uh, but one of them was this, and it was this same exact bottle, so I at least you know you're getting your value for your money here but that's the only reason why I put this so far down on the pyramid is because this stuff is freaking expensive it's the Josie Marin 100% pure argan oil I don't know why that was so hard for me to say but uh, I also had it with the Florena hand cream that I absolutely adore that I haven't been able to find a replacement for because I used to get it off of Amazon I don't know it must have to do with the shipping restrictions and stuff because it's from Germany and I can't get it on Amazon anymore and I'm like I don't know if I'll ever get that hand cream back in my life and it pains me because I it's probably my favorite hand cream ever created and same goes with sorry I mean it's oil so yeah there's gonna be cat hair all over it but like this argan oil is the best you can buy much cheaper 100% pure argan oils. You can, you can. And they're pretty much the same thing, but I swear something about this Josie Marin one is better. It just is. It is more hydrating, it is less oily, and if you like a good nourishing cuticle oil, I mean, I put on cuticle oil and hand cream every single night before I go to bed. You wouldn't be able to tell by looking at my cuticles right now, but that's because it's been a couple weeks since I've done my nails, okay? But regardless, even though they may not look super fresh they feel super fresh like my hands are moisturized they feel fantastic and it is partially because of that argan oil I mean credit also goes to the hand cream that I use but uh, yeah, that's my favorite argan oil for sure it's so expensive but like I said at least you know the bottle can last you freaking forever if you're just using it on your cuticles anyways <laughs> All right, so next up, what I think we're halfway through. Whew, it's getting a little easier, but it was definitely difficult. I didn't realize, I found a lot of Holy Grail foundations this past year, three of them what? And they're all quite different. So it was very hard for me. And this is probably only the lowest out of my three foundations that I had on top of my pyramids in this past year, purely because it's more of a summer foundation for me, I think. And like, it's not summer right now. So like, Please, like I said, take all of this with a grain of salt, the placement on the pyramid. But for May's Best and Worst of Beauty, we had this guy right here. This is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I really, 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 really love this foundation, you guys. It's called a tinted hydrator, but I personally see it as more of a foundation. I wore it today just so I could get a little bit of a recall on this, because it has, it's been a long time. Not only A, because it's not summer anymore, but also B, because like I 
that I've found other foundations that I adore and love. So I've been using those ones more, but this one is still really, really good. It's cruelty-free, vegan, drugstore price, and it just really works very well, especially if you have oily skin. You hear tinted hydrator, and that's scary sometimes if you've got oily skin, but this one is actually, I mean, it doesn't say anything about it on here, I feel like, but this is quite mattifying, I find. I mean, my skin looks pretty freaking matte right now, and it's not because, you know, I mean, I did powder my face and stuff too, but like, even on its own, this stuff is pretty freaking matte, and it helps to keep your skin looking kind of sort of matte throughout the day, depending on the time of year. You know, during the summer, there's only so much you can do, right? Especially if you have oily skin. But yeah, this stuff just works a treat. It wears really well. I mean, definitely for a lot of these products, I will have links not only to the best and the beauty that they came from but if I did a weekly wear on them like this guy here definitely I would recommend to watch that if you want like a good review in terms of should I buy that for me or not you know if you're really debating I would recommend watching the actual video but I can certainly tell you this has definitely become a favorite it will continue to be a favorite and I'm sure I will be getting a lot more use with it when summer rolls back around this upcoming year so that is that <music> Now next up, like I said, I did have to insert a product that you have not seen me talk about before, and actually technically it is two products, but like I have been adoring this combo on my eyes. Not only this past month, I mean I think this past month is when I really like put these two together and have made them work and found out how well they work together, but like I certainly have been loving this eyeshadow and have been enjoying this no budge stick. I mean, on its own, this e.l.f. No Bud Shadow Stick in the shade Bronze Metal. It's okay, like it looks fine, but it's kind of dull looking, like nothing special. But this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Smoke, I mean, I'm shocked that this was not on the top of any of my pyramids since, I don't know, maybe I've had this for more than a year and so it was on a different, I don't know, but either way, this is a holy grail eyeshadow for me. Like this is, <laughs> no words. It is gorgeous if you like a smoky taupe kind of a bronze look on your eyes. It is so, so good, so good but it's best with this underneath it. I find that, you know, this will last all day, but it could, you know, fade a little bit, crease a little bit, you know, eh, whatever, but I deal with it because it is so gorgeous on the eyes. Like, not only is it metallic, but it really is glittery, but in a subtle, natural kind of a way. And on top of this bronze shadow stick, this stuff does not budge. It is insane, these two together. It looks freshly applied at the end of the night, I swear. And it's just so pretty together. It's just a one and done. I mean, technically it's two products and then you're done. Three products if you're like me and you need an eyeshadow primer. But like, you get what I mean? It's a one color and done kind of an eyeshadow look and it is so pretty. It goes with anything, any time of year. I mean, I just, I would wager to say I can't live without these two products. They are, they're, they're too pretty. I love them. And I felt they deserved to be on this incomplete pyramid in order to make it complete for 2021. Ding. This hurts, you guys. Like, this makes me want to get in the fetal position, having to put this product so low down, low down <laughs> on the pyramid. Like, the fact that I could not have this also on top of the pyramid, it hurts. It hurts. All of these next four products, really. It hurts. It hurts. And it hurts a lot. But uh, I guess this one I only put the lowest down out of these next four products because of the price. But aside from that, oh. Favorite mascara ever? This mascara is perfection, you guys. I mean, it's it's everything. It's the Bite Up Swing Full Volume Mascara. Are, like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I hate saying this, but I had forgotten about this mascara. 
I mean, I hadn't forgotten about it. I knew it was there and I knew that I really, really loved it, but I had forgotten how much I loved it until today, rewatching the video. Uh, this was from last January, so this was from a year ago. And the fact that this same tube is still going strong, I mean, granted, I haven't used it every day for a full year, but like, you know what I mean? It hasn't dried out or anything. Plus, it's right, cruelty-free vegan, all of Bites products now. It's phenomenal, aside from the price. I mean, what, I think it's $28. It sucks, but like, worth it worth every penny of it. My lashes look phenomenal. They just do. Everything about this is perfect. It's the perfect mix of not too wet, not too dry, the formula, the brush, the wand. It makes it so easy to apply. No clumps, no nothing. It layers beautifully. It wears gorgeously. It's easy to remove. It's just everything. My lashes look absolutely incredible. Like it almost looks like I'm wearing falsies with this on. It is so good. And it's only with two coats. It's not like I had to put on five different coats to get this look. It's just two coats of the same mascara and it is just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful perfection. I love it. It pained me, like I said, to not have this up top. But uh, <sighs> this is one of the very few mascaras that I'm willing to pay more than drugstore price for. And like I said, if I could only use one mascara for the rest of my life, I'd probably say it's gonna be this one. Now, next up, another product. One of those foundations that I was telling you guys about that I found three like holy grail foundations this past year. This was my June top of the pyramid for best and worst of beauty. Oh, you guys, I had such a hard time just debating whether it was this one or the other foundation that was gonna go at the top of the pyramid. I love this foundation. I love the way that it applies. You get your skinny little nozzle so you can draw little cat whiskers on your face. I mean, listen, it's the little things, you guys. Um, but the actual formula of this foundation, did I say what it is? It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Medium coverage, up to 24 hour wear. It is so good. It's so good. It is so beautiful on the skin. It is so natural and light, but like you still get coverage out of it. It wears beautifully, gorgeously. Like everything about this is just really, really freaking good. It's just, um, it's amazing. It really is. I don't know that I can say much more about it other than, like I said, watch the video if you want to see how it wears and everything, but like it was really hard. It was like maybe down to a percentile whether or not that one was gonna be at the top of this pyramid or not. So take that for what you will. But second to the top on the pyramid here, I have got, is this like the one skincare thing? Aside from the lip balm, well, April introduced me to this sucker right here. This Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I adore this stuff, you guys. It is so good. It's so good. It is worth all of the hype that I feel like it gets in reviews and stuff. And it's such a simple thing. You really, it feels like you're just spraying your face with water. I mean, it feels really good and refreshing, but like, it feels like, you know, was it really worth it? Do I really need to buy a bottle of water and that's going to save my skin? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sure might. Skincare is not universal, but like I learned the importance of having a healthy pH to your skin level and how that affects acne and all of that. And I really do think that this has saved my skin from a lot of pimples. I mean, it hasn't completely saved me. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking the hormonal stuff. Like I, I will always get hormonal zits. I feel like around the time of my period. But aside from that, this keeps my skin looking so nice. I wouldn't say it keeps it crystal clear. Don't get me wrong. I have acne prone skin plus dermatillomania on top of that. Like, listen, my skin is never going to look perfect, but this stuff works a darn treat. It is so easy. Like I said, just a few spritzes on your face. I mean, I probably do like five just because it feels so nice. Just ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah, that was five actually. Hey, cool. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so good. I have purchased refills for this. I've got a big old like tub bottle of it that I just refill and dump into this. So I love that it's more sustainable for the earth as well. That kind of a refillable packaging and just overall it's, it's a darn treat. This has become a staple in my skincare routine and I really, really love it. And now it's the top of 
the pyramid for best of worst of beauty the best of the best of worst of beauty for 2021 listen i told you i didn't have a theme song or anything and uh, i don't think this is gonna come as a surprise to many of you <laughs> yes tower 28 you have become a staple in my life okay that save our skin misc misc that save our skin mist and then now this tinted sunscreen are you kidding me you are killing it at least for me in my life. This was my most recent best and worst of beauty top of the pyramid product. This was my November best of beauty and like I said this is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 tinted sunscreen. This stuff is phenomenal. It's the best. This was my favorite product. Yeah, I, I really do think this was my favorite product that I ended up finding in 2021. It is fabulous. This makes me excited to put on makeup. And with the way the world has been the past couple of years, like that's not always a given. But like, I don't sit down and I'm like, oh, I have to put on makeup today. It's like, all right, I'm wearing makeup today and like, it's gonna look good. I get to put this on and it's gonna make me feel more confident in my skin. And that's exactly what it does. It doesn't look, I, I don't have this on today, but like, it doesn't look cakey. It's light, but it does provide coverage. It gives you some SPF. I mean, obviously you need to wear more underneath in your skincare and whatnot, but uh, I mean, overall, it just looks so gorgeous and natural and skin-like. It's actually pretty good in terms of oil control. Like it doesn't make me look greasy or anything throughout the day. It wears beautifully, doesn't transfer. It's got a great will fade. I mean, it's just everything about this is so good. Plus it's vegan, cruelty free, it's reef safe, alcohol free. I mean, everything about this. I just, I love it. I love the packaging. I love the colors on the packaging. I love the tube, the bottle, the squeeze, the everything. It really is my favorite product that I tested out this past year. So, <sighs> so good. So many good products. I really did. I found a lot of really phenomenal products in this past year. So I hope it was helpful and fun to take a trip down memory lane with me here to see the top of my pyramids from this past year, 2021, now that we are in 2022. I mean, I know I love these products, so I hope I can spread the knowledge with you guys as well. Maybe get you into trying some of these out yourself if you haven't already, and maybe you're curious. I personally would highly recommend all of them. And also along with the beauty products, I once again would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Bright Cellars. Discover wine you love, truly. I love how customizable and personalized their service is. And if you want to help support me and my channel and making the videos that I love here, like I said, supporting a sponsor of my videos is a great way to do that. Plus. I mean, like I said, it's not just supporting me, it's supporting you too. You get 50% off of six bottles of delicious wine that are gonna be personalized to you for only $53. I mean, it's crazy value, it really is. So please, link below, check them out, take the quiz, all of that. But otherwise, just thank you guys for sticking with me here for another year. YouTube is always quite the roller coaster ride, but darn it, it's a lot of fun. And I am so grateful to be here every single continuing year that I am able to do this. And I just love being able to share my favorite stuff with you guys, hopefully introduce you all to some new and exciting and fun and fabulous products. Please let me know in the comments down below if I have introduced you to anything. Have you tried out any of these products based on my recommendation or not? Just let me know how you feel about this stuff, but go easy on me if you didn't like them. You're allowed to have a different opinion, but like it will hurt my feelings. <laughs> Uh, a little bit anyways. <laughs> but yeah, just tell me things down below. What were your favorite products that you found in the past year? And what are you looking forward to in 2022? Hopefully it is a wonderful year for all of us ahead. I know I'm looking forward to it. So let me know all of the things. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, by giving a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye and happy new year. Mm -hmm.